Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to another weekly video. I am currently outside by the playground. It kind of just rained, but the sun is coming out. The sky is becoming blue again, and uh, it's kind of pretty cool. Definitely still smells like rain, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so we're starting a new month, um, but our question is still the same, and we're gonna keep the same question for the rest of the summer, and it's who can help me do everything? And do you guys remember the answer to that question? Yes, Jesus. Jesus can help us do everything. All right, so this week we're talking about showing kindness. And there's so many ways that we can show kindness, guys. Um, for example, we can show kindness by giving somebody a hug. Um, giving somebody a hug is showing that we, um, that we want to be kind and we want to love them. Um, Another way that we can show kindness is by smiling and showing someone that we care. Um, I will never forget the time that I went to the store and I was able to just go around and smile at everyone that came um, that came near me or um, just going to the register and being able to smile at the cash register person. Um, and that person said, hey, thank you so much for smiling today. It just made my day. And um, that made my day hearing that. Um, and so definitely smile at somebody and give them a hug. Um, another way that we can show kindness is just by saying kind words um, and telling everyone that we love them, um, saying something super nice to them, um, or just being kind. Um, Let's think. Let's think. One more thing. One more way we can be kind is by sharing. Um, sometimes we, um, sometimes we have like toys or we have things that we um, that we own, and a way that we can be kind is to help and share those things that we have. Um, sometimes we don't want to share a toy, um, but God calls us to be kind, and He wants us to share our toys with others. Um, but these are just small ways that we can small and big ways that we can just show kindness um, and so this week I want you to do something kind for somebody all right all right all right guys so I'll see you guys next week bye
got this awesome banner my friends and I are making. See? It says, kind is cool. And all my friends already put their handprints on it. We got this idea from a rock we found hidden at the beach. Someone painted hands with a heart for showing kindness. Once we hang up this banner, it'll remind us to be kind too. Now I gotta put some paint on my hand. Now I'm gonna put my hand on the banner. Just right. There are so many ways we can use our hands to be kind. We could use our hands to clap for our friends. We can use our hands to hug. Oh, and we can use our hands to help. I wonder where we should hang our banner. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Making a fun banner, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, we're making a banner with our hands. Then we'll remember to use our hands to be kind. Kindness is so important. It's true. We can choose to be kind to everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, well, that is so kind. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I'm delivering today's mail. And look, this is a Get Well card. This is so kind. Kindness is what today's story is about. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Our true story from the Bible is about a man walking on a road on his way to the city of Jericho. He was just walking down the road until all of a sudden, two men hurt the man and took his money. He had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Oh, look, here comes someone. Let's ask him to help. Everyone on the count of three yell, please help. One, two, three, please help. But he didn't stop to help. He just walked on by the hurt man. That's not kind. Here comes another man. Let's ask him to help. Ready? One, two, three. Please help. But he didn't stop either. He just walked on by the hurt man. That's not kind. Then a third man came by. Uh-oh. He's a Samaritan. He's not going to help. The Samaritan people and the hurt man's people are not friends. There's no way the Samaritan will be kind and help the hurt man. But look, he's stopping. He's showing kindness and giving the hurt man bandages. Now the Samaritan is being kind and putting the hurt man on the donkey and taking him to a place to stay until he's all better. Wow. The Samaritan man was so kind. And do you know what? Jesus can help us choose to be kind too. When someone is hurt, we can choose to be kind and help them. When someone is sad, we can choose to be kind and give them a hug or cheer them up with kind words. Jesus will help us choose kindness. Jesus can help us do everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time.
So there's your story, and it's all true. The Samaritan chose to be kind to the hurt man. We can choose to be kind to everyone, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the Samaritan chose to be kind to the hurt man. Jesus can help me choose to be kind to everyone. Kindness can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Kind is cool. This looks so awesome. You know what? Instead of putting up our banner inside the clubhouse, I'm gonna put it up outside so everyone can see it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. <laughs>